Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Deka Dari of an Abuja Mom. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my coconut milk. But first off, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take out the coconut shell from the coconut. Okay, so the first thing is to hit it with maybe you can use a hammer, you can use a just something hard. I use a piece the pistol or pistol from the mortar, the traditional Nigerian mortar. And I use that to heat it all over and then I take out the water. The water is very good health-wise. Um, and then you can see it's very, very easy to open. So just stop calling me up. Just realize that we're done. I won't come back. The next thing, um, I go in with my knife. This is in an eating knife not eating an eating knife um why i use an eating knife is because it's not as sharp as the other one you can use the other one if you're very careful it's even um, quicker anyways but i use this one because it's not as sharp and man we're scared of things that are sharp so you just put this through in between the shell and the coconut carefully and you just move it inside and it brings it out you can see it's pretty simple it's pretty easy just make sure you aim in between the coconut and the shell and then it comes off very easily and then the next thing to do is to wash your coconut you have to be very thorough because coconut can have um, grain sand from the back from the shell you know so you have to wash this thoroughly when you wash it it will, the inside is supposed to look really white i don't know if there are other species of coconut that has maybe other colors but the typical nigerian coconut has this whitish color um, and the brown skin outside um, so you can see how clean it is you make sure you wash it very very well because we're using it for so many things okay and then the next thing is to cut the coconut into little pieces not so little anyways but little pieces so that you can it will be very easy to blend um you don't want to spoil your blender and you don't want um to take a lot of time making coconut another way you can do this actually to grate it and then blend it but it's like double work if you have a really good blender just cut this into little pieces um and you're good to go and that is why it's important to invest in good blenders because farm you cannot be sleeping on just <laughs> making coconut milk for your meals you cannot just be doing that all day growing up we used to do this we used to take a lot of hours doing this but now i'm older and smarter fam i try to make things very very easy for me So the next thing is to put your coconut into your blender like i said get a pretty good blender it doesn't have to be expensive the one i'm using right now um it's okay it's not one of the best but it's okay so then you add water now i actually added a little bit but as i progressed i said i had to add more water so you add more water as you go if you want to because i feel like when it comes to blenders if you make it very watery it doesn't blend or it won't blend the way you want so just add as you go right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and i just know things will so the next step is to pour it into your sieve cloth. Um, this is the same cloth I use for my pap. I'm going to be leaving the link of the pap in the dis somewhere here. Um, so you guys can go check it out. And I'm adding a little bit of hot water. This will help to bring out every ounce or inch of coconut <laughs> milk from the chaff, okay? And when I add that, I'm just going to carefully um, take off the sieve cloth and I'm going to start squeezing. Strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. All we have are scars. He said we'd get so high. So when you're doing this, take your time because you you added hot water. You don't want it to like burn you. The water is really hot, guys. You can use warm water. You can use cold water. But if you want it to really come out, 
recommended that you use hot water, but you have to be careful with your hands. Um, just take your time and do it, and everything will come out eventually. And so another thing we did, which I didn't show you here, was um, we actually put the chaff um, inside another water, another hot water, and then we had to squeeze again. Bam, coconut these days are very expensive here in Abuja. You get one coconut for as, a little bit of, a little size of coconut, you get it for as much as 700, 500 naira, so we can't even waste it. Um, I wanted to show you the difference between the two. This is the first one we got, the first one we squeezed out. Can you see how milky and white and, you know, juicy it is? And this is the second one. Um, it's not as thick, but we just had to get everything out of um, the chaff. And then I'm also going to show you the chaff, which can be used for a lot of things. So this is the chaff um, that we got from the coconut. And you can see how um, there's nothing inside it. How you know that there's nothing inside it? When you use your hand to rub on it, it's very chaffy. It's like sandy. There is no milk or anything inside it. If you find, if you, whenever you do like this and you notice that it's gumming together, it means there's still milk inside it. But when it's scattering, it means everything has come out. So yeah, this can be fed to animals as usual, your goats, your chicken, your turkey, just your animals. It's very, very nutritious. This is what um, the coconut milk looks like. This can be served to your babies, your toddlers, your kids. It can be used to make um, coconut jollof rice. It can, your coconut oil can be gotten from this. And you can just use it for your pap. You can also use it for your um, for your coconut drinks. You can add it to your juices. You can add it to your yogurt. You can add it to anything you want to add it to. It's very nutritious. It's very healthy. It's just everything. So you can add banana to this and you're good to go. Get started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way like strangers again.